My rhythm game is built slightly different from other rhythm games. You have to dodge notes instead of hitting them, which can be a little confusing to the player, so we're going to add headlight store car that turn on when you're supposed to press an input. So we gotta start out with drawing a texture for the light, as well as figuring out when an obstacle is right in front of us. Luckily, I already keep track of that for when I need to make the bicycles run away. All we need to do is turn on the light when that's the case. This kinda looks cool, but I feel like the light is too short and we need a bit more warning time. So we're gonna make it longer and also make it seem like it's hitting the ground. Looking way better, but now let's add some shadows. To do that, we need to add light occluder nodes to our obstacles and define their shapes. These shapes are what will stop the light from traveling further, so to give an impression of three dimensions, we need these shapes to be slightly inside of our objects. Imagine that these oranges are inside our game. I know it's kinda unrealistic because these oranges look good, but for the sake of the argument. The light occluder shapes would be just the dark parts of the orange. After that, I needed to rework all of my animations because I only changed the sprite positions like a dum-dum, so now when the cars bounced, the shadows didn't really follow. Or, now that I think about it, I could have just made the light occluder a child of the sprite and saved myself the headache of reworking like 10 different animations. Hindsight is 2020, but now that I had working shadows on these, I thought about where else I could add lights. The obvious answer was the street lights, but these would be a little tricky. Thing with the street in my game is that it's just one sprite on repeat. There's no real objects here and no telling how far into the sprite you are unless you manually track it. And manually tracking it is a bit of a pickle because you see both the street and the player in my game move. I swear it kinda makes sense, or kinda made sense to me because rather than moving like hundreds of obstacles and making hundreds of calculations, I could just move one street and make it seem like they're all moving. In the end what I had to do was place three lights on where the street lights are in the game, one behind the player, one on the player, and one ahead of the player. And then track how far the player plus the street move together, and then kinda jump these three lights forward once the player passes thresholds. Turned out pretty decent, but I still had a couple of issues with this look. First, I didn't really like how the shadows cast from the headlights looked, so I got rid of those, and I also wanted to make sure that the street lights were a little less static. Eventually I figured out that changing the color of the lights make it seem like it's flickering and lowering the alpha on the outside make it seem like it's dissipating. So I did both and this is the final result. At some points in this process, it honestly felt like I was adding stuff for the sake of just having more features in my game and I should just move on and finish work on this level. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Also wish with the game if you like it, it really helps out a lot. See you next time.